Hey everyone, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. If you saw me yesterday, you would not think I'd be able to be okay today, but I'm okay. And I'm trying to do my hair, and I thought I would show you guys what I do, since I'm not a cool girl with a Dyson air wrap, because I can't find it anywhere because it's sold out everywhere in the universe. I thought I'd show you how I'm trying to like make this a Dyson air wrap, even though it's not. So I have this and I actually really like it. My sister-in-law convinced me to get it a long time ago and it's like 30 bucks or something. It's not even expensive, but it's this like airbrush. I think every girl has this. So basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna show you my technique. Not that I know what I'm doing because I don't. And it actually kind of hurts, so I wouldn't recommend it because I think I'm probably pulling out half my hair. And no one asked for this tutorial, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. I section my hair off in pieces and then take little tiny chunks. And I'll show you what I do with the blow dryer, but. I really want to start a new topic, but I need to focus. Stay on one topic. Colleen, I'm showing you how to do my hair. <laughs> I'm so lame. So I take a chunk of hair, and then what I'm gonna do is blow dry the roots as well as I can, and then I will go through and twisty twist all the way up and then pull down, and then tw keep twisting the hair like this, and then let it go. And then the hope is that it gives it some body. So warming the roots. So it's not a beautiful girl, like obviously. It's like a hot mess. But the hope is that it just gives my hair some body, not necessarily curls, because then I'm gonna touch it up with the curly hair, because that's me. Hi everyone! So today is gonna be a better day. I'm doing my hair, but I feel more like a human. My parents are here. We're gonna watch football, because I love sport, and we convinced to make it a better day. So that's the plan. like a hot mess, but I'll show you when it's done. It'll look fine. It's not a Dyson A wrap, but it'll work for now. Much later. Okay, here we have my blowout, but I did, well, it looks insane. It'll calm down. I do touch it up with a curling rod, like I'll like grab chunks and wrap around because some pieces don't really curl, as you can see. And so I just take the rod and I go like this, pretty hard on the root, and then slide the hair down the barrel and kind of pull it out so it's not too tight of a curl. And that's what I do when I have time, which is never. But I'm hoping to get the Dyson Airwrap eventually because I really want to try it and everyone says it's so amazing. We'll see. Look, are there hairs that need help? Probably. Whoa, this hair's like not even curly. Shoink. Okay, there. It looks so 70s. Bye. I got Flynn a surprise. What? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Oh, you got some good trucks. This is good. I'm gonna pick you up. You have to close your eyes. Oh. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. <laughs> We're almost there. Keep them closed. Still closed. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. It's a construction site. Yeah. Oh. Think of this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a bunch of sand. Are you excited? Yeah. Should we Is make a construction site? Yeah. Let's do it. Flynn, I'm so excited from this. How's it feel on your feet, on your toesies? Iggy. <laughs> Flynn, look, the skid steer's already got a load, ready to go. Trying to get a dig with the excavator. Yeah. Last night I was like, what can get here tomorrow for him to play with? He's been such a good boy lately and he just loves sand and I really want to take him to the beach, but it's gonna be a while till we can travel to the beach again. And so I was like, maybe I'll bring the beach here. So I bought a bunch of sand and like this little disposable like ghoul thing. You excited? Mm -hmm. Isn't this the best? Yeah. Did you say thank you to your mama? Thank you, mama. You're welcome, baby. I like this. You like this? Yeah. You got a lot of trucks in here, Flynn. What are you doing right now? I'm digging. You're digging? Yep. Digging a hole. You're digging a hole? You're making a big heavy load? Yeah, I make a big heavy load. Big heavy load. Nice. Big heavy load. So there's a football game on today of the Rams versus the 49ers. Look at me knowing sports. And my dad loves the Rams. And my husband loves the Rams because a player that used to be on his favorite team is now on the Rams team. I don't know his name, sorry. And so they're both voting for the Rams, voting for the Rams, rooting for the Rams. I don't know how sports work. And if the Rams win, they go to the Super Bowl. So it's an exciting day for them. What are you talking about? Talking about football. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so um, my parents are here and Coco is here. Coco brought us caramel apples and uh, we're just playing in the sand. But I was thinking last night how sad I was that we couldn't just like go on a vacation somewhere, like go to the beach somewhere nearby so Flynn could play in the sand and have a little adventure. And so I was like, you know what? I'll bring the sand to us. So I just looked up whatever could come overnight and it was a few buckets of sand in this like little collapsible pool. And now we got the beach in our backyard. Huh. We got a beach in our yard. Yeah, is it fun? Yeah. Hi, little Maisie Joe. You look so cute. I like your outfit, Maisie Joe. Flynn, come look. Look how cute she is. Isn't she so cute? Yeah. Does she look like a little teddy bear? Are you so cute, like little, little Maisie? <laughs> and she looks so suspicious. Aww. Good big brother. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, Maisie. I gotta see this. My toe. You're gonna tickle her with your toe? <laughs> look, that that's look, something you look need I'm to doing do. it. You are doing it. You are tickling her with your toe. That is <laughs> correct. <laughs> look at this little muffin. This is way too big on her, but still. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look at this little muffin. <laughs> She's so cute. Are you kidding me with this little muffin? I love you. Are you cozy? Are you cozy in this outfit? Cute little face. Wesley's sleeping, but when he wakes up, I'm sure we're gonna attack him with that outfit too. I bought a couple, because we could take them on walks all the time, and it's kind of cold for like a week in LA. So I get them these cozy little onesies, and I got them these. Love them. You are so cute in this, it's outrageous. She's so cute. We're making How cookies. How many is one egg? Like that? Yeah, like that. Show yeah, me, wait, one how many is one egg? Like that? Yeah, like that. Okay, so pick one egg. I think this is one egg. Is that the good one? Yeah, can you crack it and then, uh -huh. and then you dump it? Uh, yeah, well, I'll crack it, but will you help me dump it? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, it's gonna open. Okay, <gasps> help me open it. Pull on that side, yeah. Nice going, baby. So good that job. Okay, we need a half teaspoon. Half teaspoon? Mm-hmm, which is, this is hard to read. This one? Yep, that's the one. Put it over the bowl. Can you hold it flat, Flynn? Like that, yeah. Okay, now Whoa. dump it in. <laughs> Perfect. <Yeah. laughs> okay, now we're gonna close it. Yep. Yep. Don't put your fingers it's in there. Okay. okay. Down. Whoa. And remember how to lock it? <laughs> yeah. Other side? Yep. That's how you lock it. Okay. I need a you can do it slow or fast. Yeah, slow. Do we need faster? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Like that? That's, That's like perfect. a racing cement mixer. Right it's, it's a white cake. It's yeah, it's looking like cake. cake. Is this done yet? Good, turn it off. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Say bye bye, Coco. Bye bye, Coke. Bye. Coke. <laughs> right. I turned it off. You did. So you gotta yeah. open it up and you're gonna put in this. Ugh. We did it. Now you gotta dump this all by myself. What did you dump in there just now? Did you get flour? Oh, here's a big one. Here's a big load. Big heavy load. Okay. Whoa, you stole that chunk? Now we just need to mix it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right now? Okay. Yeah, lock it up. Lock, lock it up, baby. Now how fast are you gonna do it? Slow one this time. Mommy says slow one this time. Like that? Well, I think like that, yeah. Let's, let's look at it. You know what's next one? What's yeah. the next one? <laughs> I want to right, turn her off. You got this. Nice. Lift her up. Ugh. First, we gotta scrape the sides. Scrape the sides. Scrape the sides. Scrape the sides. You sing the song? Oh, that's a heavy load of chop. Wait. Can I eat one? Good boy asking. That was really good. Gump it. And a little extra for good measure. That's yeah. it's more chocolate than dough at this yeah, point. Yeah, get into it. Oh wait, we forgot one thing. What? What about me? One for Baby Flynn, one for Mommy, one for Daddy. Huh? Mm-hmm. The dirtiest little fingers. Thank you. Yummy! Now you turn it. it on really slow. Slow? Mm -hmm. Nice, baby. It's working! It's all ready. Now just cook it up and it'll become a cookie. Whoa, look at that cookie dough. Whoa, it's on the stewed. It's on the stewed? Is that what, this is a stewed? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Now I'm gonna make them, okay? Okay. And then you can? Eat them. Eat them. I said, when we cook them, we can eat them. Wait, we're gonna what? I said, when we cook, we can eat them. We're gonna eat them. Eat them. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to answer some tortilla talk questions, but it depends on how Maisie does, because she might not want to answer any questions. She might want to go to bed. So a bunch of you asked tortilla talk questions, so I'm going to answer some of them if I can, if she lets me. We'll see how far we get. Bella said, tortilla talk, who picks out Flynn's outfits? I've always noticed how cute they are. Do you or Eric go off your own styles? Do you let Flynn pick out his clothes for the day? We let Flynn pick out his clothes. So when we buy clothes for Flynn, either I get stuff that I know he'll like, like stuff with trucks on it, or I let him pick out stuff like online shopping, and it's always got trucks on it. And if if he ever is wearing something that doesn't have a truck on it and it looks more like a trendy outfit, Eric usually dressed him. If he ever looks like trendy or whatever, which is rare because usually he just wears what he loves, which is like truck shirts. But we let him pick out his clothes. Tortilla talk question. This one says trigger warning, miscarriage. This is from Rachella. I'm sorry this is a touchy subject, but considering you've been so open about your experiences and now that you've had your rainbow babies, do you have any advice for mamas experiencing their first miscarriage? So I have had one miscarriage and it was absolutely heartbreaking and devastating in a way I've never experienced before. And any advice, I certainly don't. I mean, there is no advice you can give, I don't think, to someone going through that. I mean, all I have to say to anyone who experiences that or is experiencing that, I am so, so, so sorry. And the pain you're feeling is valid and understood by a community of people who've gone through the same thing. It's not a fun club to be a part of. Yeah, I'm just so sorry. There's, I have no advice. Just like, that is a horrible, horrible, awful thing for someone to have to go through. There's no advice. It's that awful. But I mean, I'm sure there are people out there who have advice. I'm not one of those people. All I can say is like, I wish I could give you a hug. I love you. It's just, oh, it's the worst. Tortilla talk question. If you had the chance to remove one inconvenience you have while raising the twins, what would it be? We know it must be very hard for you to take care of the twins, so I was curious. Anyway, much love, and I wish you well every step of the way. Thank you, Juliana. One inconvenience, bottles. I hate it. I wish they just breastfed and I didn't have to do bottles and pumping. That is the biggest inconvenience to me. It takes up the majority of my time pumping and making bottles and cleaning cleaning bottles and storing bottles and sanitizing bottles and cleaning pump parts and buying new pump parts and making sure it just, it's awful. Feeding them in a certain way at a certain angle with a bottle, warming the bottle, making sure it's the right temperature. That's why I'm like, when people say like anything negative about formula or formula feeding mamas, like I've heard people go like, that's like the easy way out or whatever. Like it is so hard. Like all of it is hard. Breastfeeding is hard. Formula feeding is hard. Exclusively pumping is hard. Like it is all really hard because formula feeding mamas, they have to do all the bottle things that I'm doing. Let me tell you, it is not fun and it is not easy. And breastfeeding is hard. It's not, none of it is easy. It is, to feed a baby is very hard, no matter how you choose to do it. But the inconvenience of bottles, I really don't like bottles and the, what comes with bottles and formula and warming bottles and all that. Like I wish I could just breastfeed them. Speaking of, it seems like someone might be getting hungry soon. So I'll do one more question. Cortia talk question. What is the best advice you have for an expecting mother of twins now that you've done it. Again, I feel like I have no good advice. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> I feel you, mama, if you are pregnant with twins. It is hard. I would say try any way you can to find a community of people who are also twin moms because honestly, like having you guys and having like comments and letters and tweets and things from other twin mamas to give me advice and to let me know I wasn't alone and the things I was going through honestly was one of the biggest things that got me through it. So like, I don't know if there's like Facebook groups of twin moms. I think there's like apps where you can find other women who are in the same type of like time frame as you in your pregnancy But I think finding a community of people going through the same thing that really helped me But also like make sure you have doctors that will listen to you and not blow you off Like that was a really important part of my second pregnancy as well. That was a really important part of my twin pregnancy having great a medical care, but I can hear Wesley crying, um, which means he probably needs a bottle. He's alone with Eric right now. And so if Eric can't calm him down, that usually means he's hungry because Eric doesn't have boobs or bottles with him right now. So I'm gonna go give him a bottle and for a bottle and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Okay, bye.